going guys, Tristan24 here and welcome back to another Vlogmas video on the channel. Today is day number 21, we are 4 days away from Christmas guys. And that means we're coming towards the end of Vlogmas guys, so only 4 more videos on Vlogmas. It's coming to the end for this year, but we might do it next year. But today's video, I've got for you some pantomimes now. Who doesn't love going to the pantomime at Christmas? Um, you know, it's really fun and entertaining. And today, we're going to be going through uh, top five pantomimes and a few facts about them. So, hope you go on to enjoy this video. Smash the like button if you do subscribe down below if you are new. And let's get into the video. So, the pantomimes, in my opinion, the top five are Peter Pan, Sleeping Beauty, Aladdin, Cinderella, and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So if you're wondering, what is a pantomime? Then I can explain it for you. So, it's a British Christmas play and a chance for people to go to the theatre to enjoy entertainment uh, shows. And the shows are based on traditional children's stories or fairy tales. So, here's a bit of a fact. Aladdin and Cinderella was the most performed pantomime in the year of 2019. So guys, here is a few facts about Swansea Grand Theatre. So, it was opened on the 26th of July, 1897. So it's been open for absolutely ages, guys. I have a picture on screen right now for you guys. And it was opened by... Now, bear with me because this name is very tricky to pronounce, but here we go. How bad can it be? Opera Diva, Madame Adelina Patti. I have no idea if I've pronounced that right. Hopefully I have, and hopefully I don't offend anyone if I've said it wrong. But, you know, got to give it a go for saying the names. And, yeah, as I said, a picture. If you don't know what the Swansea Grand Theatre looks like, it'll be on screen anywhere around me now. At the theatre, of course, and the pantomime, of course, they always try to interact with the audience. And loads of things they say, as the best known ones, are, It's behind you, and, oh no it isn't, oh yes it is. So many of you will know what I'm going on about. If you don't, then make sure you check out a theatre and a pantomime. Because it's really fun, to be honest, and really engaging with the cast on stage. So now it's about halfway through the video, guys. I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to ask you guys some questions. So, I've got three questions. Drop your answers in the comment section down below. Or if you don't want to, just have a little think about them. And chat to people around you if you want to. And uh, make a conversation about the pantomime. You know, strange things that come up in conversations, isn't it? So, first question I have for you. What is the best pantomime you've seen? And where did you see it? So I know a lot of my viewers here, uh, you know, you watching this, guys. I know you are scattered around Earth, and I'm in Wales, and here we have different pantomime every year, uh, as I'm sure all of the theatres do. But I'm interested to see, like, what ones you've recently had and which you, one you've enjoyed the most. The next question I have for you guys, have you met any of the cast when you've been in a pantomime? Or been two of pantomime, because of course, um, you know, normally, or at least this is the case in Swansea, you have a few famous, well, not famous, well, um, professional actors or people that are well known. Then that join in, and you know, makes it even even better. So, have you ever met them? I certainly have, and I'll go through that after, and let you know. And the third question I've got for you be very rare if any of you have, but it will be insane if you have for this question. I'll just say the question, guys. I'll stop um, going on about it. Have you ever featured in one? So if I get someone watching this who actually has, that would be absolutely insane. And make sure you drop a like on the video, guys, if you are enjoying. So, if you don't know any of these people, then make sure you type them up and search them up, guys, because... Um, really, really good people and really nice as well. So these are a few people that I've met. Not trying to show off for anything, guys. Just interesting facts, isn't it? So 
Ian H. Watkins, he's from Steps, if anyone knows who that is, or what it is, I'm not sure if, if you guys do. Kerry Dupree, uh, Paul Burling, British Imper Impressionist, guys, I can't read today, a British Impressionist, I can't speak, uh, not read, what am I all about guys, I'm getting so uh, muddled up here, but anyway, we'll keep going, why not, so yeah, Paul Burling is a British impress Impressionist, I can't sleep guys, I can't sleep, I keep messing up guys, I keep messing up, right, let's move on, totally move on from that, next up is Tristan Gemmill, and he's actually an actor, if you guys have ever seen Coronation Street, then you'll know the guy who played Robert, he has actually got the same name as me, so obviously a class name to be called Tristan, uh, <laughs> I'm obviously an actor now, no I'm joking guys, um, <laughs> and the final person is Kev Johns, if you don't know, or better known as Kevin Johns, but for short, people call him Kev, because <laughs> I thought that was funny for some reason, I don't know why, but moving on, he's a radio, a DJ, and he's Swansea based, so meaning that he, you know, he's well known in Swansea, uh, people associate him with the football, uh, mainly, well, not mainly, he does loads, he does lots of charity stuff, a lot of stuff really, and if Swansea fans remember the playoff final, he did that uh, speech as well, so yeah. Very well known at Swansea. And of course this year, because of everything going on in the world, there was no pantomime this year. It's really upsetting. But at Swansea, Grand Fiesta at least, we were going to do, or uh, this is what was planned, uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. So that was what's going to happen. Um, of course it runs for like two, maybe three weeks, I'm pretty sure. Pantomime, it's, it's about that, maybe a month. I don't think it's a month actually. It normally goes from like middle to end of December to midway through January, early start of that. Uh, so yeah, pantomimes are great. And at the Swansea Grand Theatre, you can fit 1,000 people. So back in the day, 1879, I think I said it was, that opened. When I said it before, that was the correct date, guys. Uh, just can't remember what I said then, but it, it was right then. And, you know, back in the day, that was a huge number of people to go in, and it was massive for back then, of course. Now time has developed, you know, that scene is kind of small, which is, you know, if people back then were thinking about it, they, would have, they wouldn't really understand where you're coming from. But, you know, it is, it is really nice down there, to be honest, and very historic in Swansea. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, smash the like button if you have, subscribe down below if you are new, and make sure you comment the answers to the three questions I asked you, and I'll be very interested to see what you put in the and then comments down below, I keep calling it description guys, why do I call it description? Uh, but anyway guys, I'll let you get off now, four days to Christmas, and the guy in the red suit will be coming down your chimney, and delivering the presents, so I'll see you tomorrow guys. The Vlogmas, day number 22, when there will only be three days left. Merry Christmas, everyone.